So is it important to have a morning routine before you get going with the rest of your day? Uh, look, before we get on to that, please remember to love, like, share, engage, and follow. All right, so um, is it important to have a morning routine before we get started for the rest of the day? This is Warren here, coming to you from Wellness with Warren. And um, for me personally, so since I started practicing a morning routine for myself, I can categorically state that for me personally, it has been a groundbreaker. So before I, what I do, what I mean by about a morning routine. So before I get started with anything in my day, I wake up in the morning, I have a little mantra that I typically say to myself first thing. It's like I'm setting an intention for the day, all right, to get, get my mind set up in the right space while it's at the right frequency in order to absorb that intention as best as possible so that my subconscious mind can get started working on the day looking for opportunities to for me to live that intention all right then what do i do is or what i do do is i do a 20 20 20 um, segment for my first hour so for the first hour of my day the very first hour of my day i'm not looking at my phone all right i put my phone on charger it's still on on uh, flight mode from the, from the night before, before I went to sleep. And then I get started with things like uh, meditation. So obviously I feed her first. First and foremost, I feed her. Depending on the time I wake up. If I wake up at 5, 5.30, then I get started with my, my power, my hour power, my, I mean, my power, my hour of power. All right, golden hour, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> I get started with that. And... Then once I'm done, if I wake up at six o'clock, I feed her first and then I get done with my hour. And what I'm doing is, is I'm meditating. I might be moving of some kind. I might do some kind of little uh, mobility, flexibility type of session for 20 minutes. With, it gets my heart rate going. Okay, I'm sweating just a little bit, just enough, stimulating my, my central nervous system, it's stimulating my metabolism. And that gets me going as well physically and then i do some writing i do it not necessarily journaling but i do do other t other forms of writing which i i'll do i write with my my strong hand my right my left hand and then i also write with my right hand as well so i'm getting i'm activating both sides of the brain all right my left and right side of the brain and um, then i do some reading i do some educational reading you know, reading like a book which is educational self-empowering personal development that kind of stuff i'll read i'll do that as well so it'll be three of those four it, invariably it's the meditation the writing and the reading and from time to time instead of the meditation i'll do some exercising and what i found for myself personally focus get a move what i found for myself personally is that it really gets me set for the day from a motivational perspective and also from a dis discipline po point of view. You know, we wake up in the morning, one of the first things we do habitually, I trust, is that we brush our teeth, all right? And that's a habit. It takes, it takes building a habit to build your, brush your teeth first thing in the morning and at night time before you go to bed. And it's the same with your first hour of the morning. You can create a first hour of the morning for yourself, whatever that might look like for you, to be your habit for the first thing in the morning, to get you get you started in the right way, in the right path, the right energy, right, and the right stimulus for your for your brain and everything else. Okay, the most the most important thing with this is this, it's it's about it's about um, conditioning the mind, conditioning the subconscious and the conscious mind, and it's also about instilling a sense of personal empowerment, belief in yourself. You know. Your self-confidence grows as a result of accomplishing your hour of your golden hour, your power hour first thing in the morning. When you get in the habit of doing that and you're doing it every day, all right, habitually, you start to build a level of confidence around that because now you're starting your day off with discipline. Right? And by starting the day off with discipline as opposed to slumbering around, knocking your toe, you know having a go at the dog, whatever, and uh, rushing around to them to get the kids ready for school or get yourself ready for work. 
these kinds of things instead of doing that first thing in the morning you're taking care of yourself first and foremost in the first hour take care of yourself get yourself ready get yourself fired up get yourself motivated get yourself disciplined for the rest of the day and then what that does is it opens up your mind as well your mind starts looking for opportunities based on what you've done in the morning and if you're meditating first thing in the morning it's a phenomenal tool to do to to access it's meditation first thing in the morning all right and i know that not everybody can meditate or they not everybody feels they can meditate everybody can but not everybody feels that they can meditate all right and there's a trick to that but that's not for that's for a different different conversation and then do your writing do your journaling write what are the first thoughts that come through in your mind first thing in the morning and i like to typically do my writing after my meditation so that the type of writing that i'm doing i'm writing out what does my ideal look day look like and very often that what i write out is is coming from my meditation all right so as i meditate first thing in the morning I just let my, let whatever needs to come through come through and then i do some visualization for my future at the same time and then i'd go and i do my writing and then based on sometimes what what my intentions are for the day or whatever comes through my meditation i may write down in my ideal day and then i do writing with my right hand and i do a spe specific writing that i've been doing for close on two years now all right um and then I write down what I'm grateful for, these kinds of things. And then that's my writing done. And then I read a book. Like at the moment, I'm reading The Master Key System. Okay, it's an old book, a very powerful book. Um, and I'm reading that at the moment. So I read that in the first thing in the morning, Master Key System, all right? It's a life-enhancing tool. It's a book that really, it really gets you thinking about life and reality from a different point of view. And uh, how our energy and our thoughts and everything can manifest. And I know many of you would have heard this already about how our thoughts and our energy helps us to manifest things in our lives. But the Master Key System, when you read it, as much as it's an old book, man, it's so relevant, it's so powerful. And the science behind it is amazing considering the time and when it was written, you know, the way of thinking, the forethought. Or the forward thinking at that time from the author so yeah that's what my first hour looks like in the day how would you like your first hour of the day to look you know are you okay is it okay for you to you know get up in the morning be rushing around first thing not have a proper breakfast then you go and you do x y and z whatever getting things done but you're not really thinking you're just on autopilot you know, you're not thinking intentionally. You're not acting intentionally for the first hour of your day. And then what happens is that that perpetuates. And then it can spin out of control. All right? Because now you start off your day on a rush. You start your day off lastminute.com. You know, everything's getting done as quickly as possible. So you can get out the door, get, get moving. Rather than wake up an hour earlier, take care of yourself first, mentally, physically, emotionally and then you can get get the rest of the stuff going for the rest of the day and then it's also about the discipline of programming yourself for that so if you're able to program yourself like that every single day you're going to start to notice significant differences in your energy levels as i mentioned your self-motivation these kinds of things and your self-confidence levels will skyrocket as well because you're just programming to be disciplined from the first first moment of your day then whatever else happens through the course of the day doesn't really matter necessarily of course it does matter yes but you know it's not it's not so that not to expect you to be disciplined throughout the day as a result of doing your golden hour first thing in the morning look how beautiful that is okay i hope you can see the sunset behind the hills there sun's going down maybe you can just see in the glimpse of just over there that area there and uh that's gorgeous or just this time of the day. It's just after 8 o'clock in the evening. It's wonderful, man. Nice and quiet. So I trust this message resonates with you. I trust you understand what I'm, what I'm, the gist of the message and what I'm getting at here. So it's, it's, 
the, the, the primary focus of doing your golden hour or your hour of power is to get you set up first thing in the morning so that you wake up a little bit earlier than you typically would do you get you're getting to bed a little bit earlier than you may may do now currently which may which means that you're setting up your your circadian rhythms and your cycles your physiological cycles a lot better for yourself all right rather than going to bed late at night and waking up last minute and then rushing around first thing panicking because that's what you're doing all right you're you're literally in panic mode first thing in the morning because you're not giving yourself time to breathe and just relax and think for a moment you're focusing on so many different things rather than just doing your meditation or doing a 20 minutes of exercise doing your reading doing your writing at a calm pace taking care of yourself having a cup of coffee or a cup of tea while you're doing it that kind of stuff and then getting through your day all right so if this resonates with you then please take the heed of what i'm saying here do your own little bit of research into it and find out what what are what are the tools what activities could you be doing for yourself for your first hour and then give it a go you know give it a try let it let let yourself see trust yourself enough to see how it goes for yourself for you and then how it feels for you as well and what what responses you you get from taking care of yourself first thing in the morning and looking after you you're the most important person in your life and you should always be the most important person in your life yes our kids our children our spouses are important to us as well you know the people that depend on us are important to us true but if you're not taking care of yourself first then you cannot take care of other people efficiently and sufficiently enough as a consequence of that so this is one of the most powerful tools i've taken on board for myself to help take, take care of myself and then also get my mind in the right space at the right pace and the right frequency for the rest of the day as i mentioned this sounds like if this resonates with you then look into it and if you need some help just give me a shout we can have a call we can have a cup of coffee and i'll be happy happy to guide you guide you into finding out what's right for you specifically okay and then share this message if it resonates if you feel it resonates with somebody else that's in your life that might need to hear something like this or would like to hear something like this then share it with them or share it publicly all right but either way let's see some engagement i'd love to hear your feedback love to hear your insights into what i've just shared with you and um i love to hear your story afterwards in a month's time six months time a year's time yeah let's see how long you can keep yourself disciplined enough to practice your golden hour your hour of power hour of power let's do it together let's make it happen okay let's change our own world ourselves and change the world around us as a consequence until i speak to you next time take care and i look forward to hearing from you remember feedback and engagement communication is key so let me hear from you okay take care speak to you soon bye-bye